A high school senior who was killed in a crash will be honored at her school's graduation ceremony this weekend. Tonight, the teen's grieving mother is sharing how she's preparing to remember her beloved daughter that day. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. Our Michael Laparty live in Rosenberg with her story tonight. Michael. Keith and Daniela, the mother says that she hasn't been at peace for months since her daughter's death, and she wanted to make sure the high school senior was recognized at the upcoming graduation. Stephanie Mendoza says she's still struggling with the loss of her daughter, 17-year-old Anna Maria Graciela Morales. Every morning I wake up and I have to remember that my baby is not here. It's, it's horrible. Stephanie says Anna Maria was one of three people who died in this crash near Beasley back in November. Investigators say she was a passenger in a car that ran a stop sign. Anna Maria was... Um, one of a kind. She really, really was. Her family says she was also a senior at BF Terry High School, which will hold its graduation ceremony later this week. I was notified Monday morning, yesterday morning, that um, there was going to be a chair and a cap and a gown set out for her, um, but that she would not be recognized or called. Her name wouldn't be called. In cases where a student has died, Lamar CISD says it traditionally places a chair in the audience among the classmates with a student's cap and gown. The district told us, quote, additionally, we are allowing the campus principal to add special acknowledgments, such as calling the student's name or having a moment of silence during his allotted speech. Stephanie says an administrator later contacted her to say her daughter would be recognized by the principal at the beginning of the ceremony. I'm very proud. And I, I wish I would be able to really see her in person walk the stage, but I am satisfied that this is what we got done and this is what's going to happen. The graduation is scheduled for Saturday night at Trailer Stadium, and Stephanie says she plans to be there. Reporting live in Rosenberg tonight, Michael Lopardi, KPRC 2 News.